Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In Lab 14, I'm going to show you how to configure HTTP subsystem with database integration. Once integration is done, we're going to write a basic script that will collect account number from a web page and then pull the record from a database based on that account number and display it on the browser. Well, the first thing I'm going to do in Contact Center Express Server under subsystem, you will go to HTTP. Now there you have a bunch of triggers. So all the subsystem really does is create a trigger. Now in order for you to create create a trigger, you must have a UCCX application. So we're going to create an application going to application menu and then follow uh, create an application pointing to a script. Now in order for us to of course create an application we must have a script so let's go ahead and open the script that we wrote about for this program and explain how things what things are being done so the task is that we're gonna have, go to a web page where the, there will be an input box a customer uh, will enter the account number the contact center that where the web browser will push that information to the contact center express server contact center express server will then read the information from the user uh, sorry, uh, uh, sent information, extract the zip uh, account number, zip code, or whatever they, they use, contact the database, pull information based on that, and then of course display it back to the user. So this is the script that is basically uh, we're going to use to test this. So what I want to do is show you a web page that I've created. It's called welcome. I'm going to open it in notepad. Actually not welcome, account info, I believe. That was welcome. All right, so I just created a basic HTML page which creates the form. So as you can see an HTML tag, body tag, and a form. Uh, form, action, equal, Call, uh, quotation forward slash greeting. The word greeting basically represents the name of the HTTP trigger that we're going to create in the Context and Express server. Now, then we're going to simply say, What is your zip code? That basically is going to ask the user, What is your account number? And to input uh, it will be an input which type is text that gives us the box. And the name is equal, equal to zip code. Now, this is very important. The tag name is an HTML tag. And this is the name for that particular inbox, so input box. This zip code name will be sent to the Contact Center Express as a parameter. So the Contact Center Express will grab that zip code value and then, of course, uh, take, take the necessary steps. So once the web page is created, what you want to do is upload that to the Contact Center Express server by going to Application, Document, Go to default, web apps, go to root. Now in there we have uploaded, you can upload a new document saying account welcome. So you can go to browse, select the file and upload. Now we already have uploaded a file called welcome.html. So we're gonna open a browser. Let's just try the welcome.html. Oh, that didn't work. It's a case sensitive, so just put the W as a capital. All right, so here, basically, if I go to source, view source, is basically the same thing we just saw. So that's basically what we're trying to do. Now, once we click on this, so basically what's going to happen is when we click uh, one, two, three, four, five, and you click on submit, what it's supposed to do is going to push that information to this trigger. Now the question is how does this trigger, how does the web browser know that this is a trigger that I have to go? Basically what it does, it really formats the URL as this.
it will go to the context center express as as this greeting question mark zip code equal one two three four five this will be the actual url that will be constructed by the web browser and sent back to the contact center express server contact center express server is is instructed to look for this code and then ex extract this value so that's how so let's show you the greeting uh, so if i go back to the application that i created for this so i go to application um, called http so it you know selected the file called scripts http 2aef and then on the left hand side you see the trigger slash greeting so that's where the call is i'm sorry the request is coming to so you can click on the trigger it's a simple trigger with the urls greeting and then some other parameters all right so now that you have this setup done so now what we're going to do is look open the script we have created a basic script called http2.aef you know put a little bit comment and uh, accept uh, trigger and then here what we're doing we're extracting that zip code so for that we have created a variable called zip code and this variable is called string type variable the name is zip code now you can call this look this since this is a local variable you can call it anything you want sorry i was looking at the wrong uh, script file so this is the actual script file that we have to look at http2.aef first thing we do accept the call and then next thing we do here is step uh, third step is to extract the zip code from the url so the zip code is a variable right here zip code is a variable which basically is going to store whatever the value that is coming from this url right here so right now we're concerned about extracting this and store it into zip code now the difference between this this is a variable name that is defined in an html page could be totally different and this is a variable that is defined in the script itself so although I kept the same name just to keep it simple but you can keep two different name if you want to now once I have that information into my zip code now I can open the database so I'm using a DB read steps to open a database that will capture all the record select every record from the table called customers where the account number which is the name of the field in the table is equal to the value of the variable in zip uh, zip code so whatever the value you have in the zip code in our case one two three four five is going to be equal to account number that means that all the record about that account number will be collected now, of course if i click on test right now it'll be zero because there's nothing defined in the zip code all right next step if it's successful on that step we're going to go to db get meaning get get the data so go to properties we're going to say that okay db get and then store the value from the database on the let's see the field name these are the field that is you define in the database server itself whereas local variable a local variable that defined within this script so i've created four different local variable they're all the string type the word l at the beginning represent is local so account number will be whatever the value is coming from the account number will be stored into the account number local variable whatever the value you have an extension will be uh, uh, stored in the i uh, sorry l extension variable and so and so so you do that for all the tables and records that you need so once you have done this part then if it's successful what we're doing we're constructing the exact format like how do we want the information to be displayed so basically what this uh, what I'm doing I created another variable called zip code doc right here now zip code doc is another variable but this is one is slightly different this is a document variable so document type variables allows you to push files or text to the next I mean to the external device 
So what this is going to do, this con concatenation uh, message, is that it's going to format it as something like this: first name, and then whatever first name is, Faisal, last name, con, extension two one zero one. Uh, or 2001 whatever the extension is whatever the database provide account number will be one two three four five so that's this is basically creating the format so I just had to uh, I, I have to say first name dash uh, which is kind of a word display name I can call this blah 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 if I want to but the difference is that uh, the way we have to write this information is by concatenation concatenating you can see, as you can see, I have a quotation, first name, space, hyphen, space. Then I'm saying plus the value from the variable. This value from the variable is basically what this is. The name Faisal, the Khan, the 2001, whatever the information is coming from the database. This is just a static. You can call it anything you want. Okay, so once the first value is defined, then we're going to say, okay, plus break mean giving a break, meaning that go to second line, next line. Pay, uh, then put the word last name, that hyphen, quotation, plus the value from the local variable called L underscore last name. So you do that like that, basically creating a small HTTP uh, HTML program. Uh, only thing you have to keep in mind that the variable has to be in an uncode in order for you to define the value. Alright, so once that part is done, now we're going to say send HTTP response. So we're going to say send HTTP response document zip code doc, which is, so basically we're saying sending whatever the value, whatever the value you have in zip code doc, doc to the web page. So once this is done, we're going to release the database and then do a quick validation check to make sure that the script is validated. Go to Contact Center Express Server, Script Management, upload the script just like you would do for any other script. Create an application called HTTP and as you can see, create a trigger called greeting it has to match in the whatever you have defined in the form action HTML uh, code and once this is done you're ready to test your call so what we're gonna do we're gonna come to this page we're gonna say that we're gonna enter the details and click on submit when I enter my username and password is one two three so not username and password but rather when I put my zip code one two three four five I get these details so if I go back, if I go back and try different uh, value, so let's say four, five, six, nine, eight, another account, I get different name. Go back, one, two, five, four, six, I get different name. So all this is because coming from a database. Now if you want to really see how this is really working, Open the script editor again, go to debug, reactive script, select the http2.aef, give it a 45 seconds for the script to execute, and then once this is running, simply go back to your web browser, sorry, this one, click submit. And now what's going to happen is going to, you can actually see what's going on through each step. So I'm going to go, if I go start, boom, goes all the way, right away. But if you want to do slowly, then you can, you can say that step over, meaning that one step at a time. And ultimately the result will be this. Alright, so this is basically how you create an HTTP enable application and configure the subsystem to support HTTP. So that will be it for this lab and I will see you in the next.